Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his appreciation for the prominent role played by the media in the development and youth renaissance, which enjoys the support and attention of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his care and the interest and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad shared that the media is the true mirror to continue working with sincerity and dedication to order in order to continue cont contributing to the work in the reform project drawn up by His Majesty the King and everyone is continuing to implement it for a prosperous future for Bahrain. His Highness expresses appreciation to the Kuwaiti writer Sheikha Hasla Al Hamoud Al Salim for her outstanding efforts and distinguished writings which are an incentive to continue working to achieve the visions of His Majesty the King in supporting young people because they are considered future leaders. Kuwaiti writer Sheikha Hasla Al Hamoud Al Salim has highlighted the great role played by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad in supporting youth and the future vision that His Highness plays in the youth renaissance through an article she published in the Kuwaiti newspaper Al Anba, which was widely read and widely circulated on social media. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment and deputy chairman of the club's High Committee, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the club today held the 16th race meeting of the season at its race course in Rafah Sakhir. Their Highnesses, representatives of the sponsors of the race and fans also attended the race, which was held for the Cups of Flexus cars, Hassan bin Salah Al Rui'i for Arabian Horses and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. Trophies were presented to the winners.
The Kingdom of Bahrain has welcomed the United Nations Security Council statement in which it unanimously, unanimously condemned the attack by the terrorist Houthi militia on the United Arab Emirates and civilian facilities in Abu Dhabi, considering it a dangerous escalation that would affect the region's peace and security. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs stressed that the unanimous UN Security Council's condemnation of the terrorist Houthi attack reflects the international support for the legal rights of the UAE to defend its sovereignty and protect its security, stability and the safety of its citizens and residents against the criminal Houthi militias acts and its continued violations of international laws. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs called on the international community to take a firm and decisive stance against the terrorist Houthi militia and its attacks and criminal acts, as well as to work to reach a ceasefire and a political solution to the Yemeni crisis in accordance with the Gulf Cooperation Council's initiative and its executive mechanisms. The outcomes of the Comprehensive National Dialogue Conference, in addition to the Security Council Resolution No. 2216 and relevant UNSC resolutions regarding the Yemeni crisis. The Med Directorate at the Ministry of Transportation and Communications expects extremely cold weather today with scattered clouds and rising dust in some regions. The Med Directorate warns of strong winds that can reach 30 knots at times, whereas it might, be, it might sub subside at night. The Med Directorate also noted that sea waves might reach 1 to 3 feet inshore. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,211,964 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,190,856 had taken the second and 920,853 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 27,106 with 2,588 recoveries, 3,616 registered new cases and no deaths. There are 76 active cases receiving treatment and 12 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,398 total deaths, while 295,800 have recovered from the virus. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the coronavirus.